Hey, I just made my very first purchase on Wish.com, and let me just say that you need to be very careful about where and how you shop online. So a friend told me about the Wish app, and they've got everything you could ever imagine. And a whole lot of things that you could have never imagined, like a watch with a lighter, or a shaving apron. Yeah, I have no use for most of this stuff, but that's when I saw an electric mountain bike for only $12. $12 for an electric bike? What is the catch? Is there one? It says that it's a brand new 26 inch mountain beach electric bicycle with e-bike fat tires for adults, seven speeds, steel frame, front and rear brakes, headlights, the full package. Had I just found the deal of the century or what? I had been wanting an e-bike for the longest time and now I'll finally be able to cruise through my neighborhood and be the coolest kid in town. And I know that this bike isn't exactly a Trek brand. In fact, most of the items on Wish.com aren't top quality. They're knockoffs. They're manufactured in China for cheap and then sold through drop shippers here in the States. If you don't know what drop shipping is, it's when businesses will sell products to buyers without actually stocking the items themselves. Instead, they'll purchase the item from a third party and have it shipped directly to their customer. So let's say that a factory in China is making these gadgets and selling them for $3 each. A dropshipper can then set up a website promoting them as these amazing high quality gadgets for $15 each. And when an order arrives on the website, the dropshipper purchases a $3 gadget and the manufacturer sends the product to the customer and the dropshipper pockets the extra $12. And the dropshipper may never actually even see the product. They make their money by marketing the item. And now they've certainly got my attention. But even if this thing is made in China, how are they making it and selling it for only $12? I mean, the material alone is like 10 times that. And who in the world is going to ship this thing from China to the United States for only $3? My curiosity was killing me. So I said, I am definitely ordering this bike. And this is the first time I've ever ordered something from this site. And if you're anything like me, anytime you enter your credit card online, you can't help but feel a little uneasy, especially when you're only paying $15 for a bike. And that's why I've started doing my online purchases with Privacy, who I'm thrilled to have sponsor this video. Privacy allows you to generate virtual numbers to act as your credit card. It's a unique number that will mask your bank information so you never have to worry about giving it out to people you don't know online. And when you generate your virtual number, you can decide who can charge the card, for how much and how often. And you can close cards at any time. I especially love using privacy when I sign up for free trials because you can make sure that you are never accidentally billed twice or upgraded to another service without your consent. You just set a spending limit to what you should be paying and you'll be notified if you're ever charged more than this. It works great for me and I think that you're going to love it too. So head to privacy.com slash pleasant green. That's privacy.com slash pleasant green and sign up for an account. And as a special treat, new customers will automatically get $5 to spend on your first purchase for a limited time only. Yep, that's free money. So go to privacy.com slash pleasant green and sign up now. So I placed my order safely and I fully expect them to just cancel the order like this was some ploy to get my email address or other information. But crazy enough, it shipped a couple days later and soon enough it was coming from mainland China and it estimated about a two week delivery time. And I thought, is this really happening? Every day I would check in and track its progress. And it made its way through customs and it was on its way to California to me. And then on May 13th, I saw that it was out for delivery and scheduled to be delivered. I could not wait. Eventually I got a notification that it was delivered to my mailbox. How did they fit an entire bike in a mailbox? Or did they even send me a bike at all? So I went to go check it out, and there it was. <laughs> okay, so I have a bike light. But where's the bike? The item that I ordered was clearly a bike. This light was just an included feature. And I know what you're all thinking, Ben, you just didn't read the fine print closely enough. You ordered a light. Well, okay, let's just read it together, shall we? It says Type B Mountain Beach Electric Bicycle. Conquer any off-road trail with ease with the steel frame Mountaineer bike with supersized all-terrain knob tires. 
It goes on, and it says this bike ships ready to be assembled. Size for adult riders 5'6 to 6 feet tall and has a limited lifetime warranty. Type A, one bicycle riding lights and one USB data cable. Okay, there's nothing here that says this bike isn't included. This is a product listing for a bike. It's the dominant image on the ad. Why would they list the very specifics of the bike if this product wasn't in fact a bike? I am so mad. I waited two weeks for this. And you guys are probably like, Ben, you got a light for $12. Why are you complaining? Well, I'm complaining because I didn't order a light. I ordered a bike. And now Wish has some explaining to do. So I struck up a conversation with someone on their help team who appears to be just a bot. They said, hi, Ben, I'm Wish's support assistant. Thanks for reaching out. Here's the latest tracking info I have. And I said, I have indeed received the item and it asks if there's a problem with the order. And I'm like, yeah. And I selected item did not meet my expectations. And I said, thanks for letting us know. Can you tell me what is incorrect about your order so I can make things right? And I said, the item is missing essential parts. It then said, please upload one or more photos of the items described for the issue in detail so we can best assist you. And I'm like, there's no bike. And I uploaded a photo of my light and its package. It then said, I have sent your support message and a wish representative will respond to you within two to three days. Well, it only took a few hours for Wish to respond and say, Hello Ben, thank you for contacting Wish. It must be inconvenient to know that you got a bike light instead of the electric bike as described. We apologize for the inconvenience with your purchase. Upon review of your order, we have gone ahead and issued a full refund for this item. Please allow up to 10 business days for your refund to process back to your original form of payment. Okay, well if they're that quick to issue a refund, it makes me think that this isn't a rare occurrence. It's almost like they've got a ton of misleading product descriptions being listed on their site and they're just hoping that people don't go through the hassle of complaining. And if you're a seller who can convince a couple of thousand people that they're getting a bike instead of a light, you can probably get away with a good amount of cash. And soon after this, the product description changed and it labeled the item as a light, not a bike. Okay, so who's behind this? Who's the seller? I look at this packaging and I see that there's a return address to James Charles Lessmore Limited in Carson, California. He must be the drop shipper using Wish to feature and advertise his products while some folks in China are the ones making cheap stuff and shipping them. And they probably don't even know anything about what's going on here. They're just doing what they're told while some guy in California is making all the money and misleading customers on Wish. So I go to Google to see what people are saying about this Less More company and all I see is scam, scam, scam. There are over a hundred complaints from people upset about the products they're receiving from this guy. So why is Wish partnering with people like this? And what is going on on Glen Curtis Street in California? I don't know, but this should be a warning for you if you ever shop at Wish, because although you may get some great deals, you'll probably get some duds. I mean, what might you expect from a drone that's only 50 cents? Or a 14 karat gold ring that's completely free? There's a lot of questions here, but if you're gonna shop at Wish, you better be prepared for deceptive advertising, long wait times, and apparently no quality control. So maybe in a follow-up video, we can try to dive a little bit deeper into this scam because I don't have a whole lot of answers to this one. But what I do have is this bike light from mainland China, and maybe it's not so bad after all. I'm gonna go give this thing a try, but I would love to hear from you about your experience with Wish. Did you get everything that you wanted and more? Who do you think is holding the strings on this operation? The drop shippers? Wish? The Chinese? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next one.